How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Skyrim mini-series I have. Where I'm showing you five secrets in every one of Skyrim's major cities. Today we're doing Solitude. Kind of a big city. I just got done recording a lot of the smaller city ones, which are really hard to find secrets in. But Solitude, there's a lot of actual good information that I have for you guys here. And some of it is uh, decently well known among like the veterans of this game. So if you're a veteran, you've been playing for a while. Um, you may know a few of these things, but you can still watch and see if you know any of the things that I'm gonna mention. So um, yeah, the first thing number one is actually kind of interesting because I believe this is the only place in Skyrim where you can do something similar to this. But if you come down to Catla's farm and pick a few potato plants or a leek, and you give it to Catla, um, honest it makes you friends with Catla. And if you guys don't know how being how friendship works in Skyrim, if you're friends with someone, you can take things from them for free. And one of those things happens to be the horses. Now, they aren't yours to keep. It, it just lets you use them for free. And once you get off, they will uh, return back to the stable. So it's basically a one-time free use, except you can come back and use it whenever you want. Um, so basically infinite free horses, but once you get to your location that you want to get to, for example, like some, if you want to ride to Morthal, once you get off him, he's gone home. So you'd have to find a new way back. The second secret is actually this guy. Sort of a two for one. This guy's gonna give you that little blob of dialogue, but you can actually, you can actually talk to him. Not many people know this, but you can talk to him and ask him about rock and he actually gives you a little bit of extra dialogue um that in and of itself is pretty cool i mean no not many people know that but um aside from that there's also a a, a sort of part two to this secret so the second half once you show up rock is going to be executed Position. and once he dies um something interesting will happen and he's dead. So you can actually loot him in a second when he's done dying. And he has a free amulet of Talos on him. Uh, time between shouts is reduced 20%. You can equip this, but the funny thing is, it's actually technically a quest item. Um, I believe one of his family members will uh, be mourning his death and you have to give him the amulet of Talos. Normally, this will be put in his urn in the Heart of the Dead, but you can just take it off his body just then and there and have it. It is annoying because I've never actually found of this specific way to complete the quest. So I always just have it on me at all times, but um, it's kind of interesting. Anyways, the third secret is in Angeline's Agromatics? Aromatics? I don't know. It's the alchemy shop. And oh man, I have history with robbing alchemy shops, but this one is a bit different. It's a bit more uh, unique. So you're gonna wanna come into the back room and up the stairs. I'm gonna do this quickly because she likes to chase you. But if you go into this room and quickly run to the far end, there's novice robes of illusion. I had to do that really quickly because she's really paranoid. She really likes chasing after you when you go into places you shouldn't. But yeah, just up the steps, the first room on the right, on the far end, novice robes of illusion. Uh, where is it? There you go. Not only is this really good early game, but if you want to play as like an illusion mage, which I usually do when I play a mage, because I think it's really, really fun. Um, ever since I made my illusion-only Skyrim video, I've just enjoyed the shit out of it. But um, yeah, that's really powerful early game, especially considering how expensive Party. illusion spells can be. Um, or if you just want to grind illusion using the muffle spell, it makes it a bit easier that way. Alright, so the fourth secret slash tip. I keep calling them secrets, but they're more like um, useful bits of information that you kind of have to go out of your way to figure out. So they're kind of secrets, but that's a bit misleading. I don't know. Fourth secret has to do with uh, the court mage, Sibyl Stentor. Um, if you notice, her eyes are a bit orange, and it's heavily hinted that she's um, vampiric. Now, that's pretty well known, but if you go to her room, which is this big door, and then just go straight. Since she's a court mage and a vampire, she has lots of magical things, lots of potions, and expensive um, ingredients, including that uh, paralysis poison, which is very powerful. So uh, kind of ri ripping her off is very profitable, as you can tell. Oh yeah, look at that. A few more potions. Very... Uh, okay, somehow they caught me doing that. What? Okay, I'm just gonna load the save when I entered the palace. Oh uh, yeah, I guess don't jump. They will catch you. And the fifth and final tip slash secret is also very similar to that, but instead of ripping off Sabeel Stent, we're gonna be ripping off a different person. In the Winking Skeevar. Now, I don't know why it is, but in this place, there's a lot of healing potions. Just over here, there's a minor healing potion and a regular healing potion. And in almost every room, there's potions of regen, potion of health, like what? Another potion of healing, coin purse, and uh, you know, a few things in that knapsack. 
and that's just the bottom floor. If you go up, be careful, there's usually some guy sitting here, but I guess not this time. Three more potions, then uh, extreme stamina, potion of strength, the strong box, just out in the open. I do just think it's funny. I think they'd have this behind the counter or something, but nope. 100 bucks plus an iron ingot. And then in these two rooms, more stamina, more strength, more plentiful healing. And then in this room, same dealio. Two regen, oh, one regen, one health, one strength, one extreme magicka. And uh, yeah, I believe that's it. Well, I say that's it as if that's a little bit, but no, that's a lot. So if, you, if you're in the Thieves Guild and you want to make like a quick thousand bucks, maybe two thousand, come to Solitude. And as a matter of fact, um, you'll find that most houses and um, shops, like, like the living quarters of a shop, is a, is a lot like that, with a lot of valuables, especially the Radiant Raiment. Uh, it's a very popular place to rip off. And it makes sense, right? Uh, it's the capital of Skyrim, it's extremely fancy and rich. So yeah, if you're a thief, come rip off the city. But yeah, that is, um, five secrets. It was more like fucking seven secrets in the city of Solitude. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, um, make sure you guys check out my other videos in the other cities of Skyrim. If I haven't done any of them else already, um, I've done- I'm going to do every city in Skyrim on a weekly basis for, uh, Nine weeks, I guess, because there's nine <laughs> cities in Skyrim. But yeah, until, you know, further notice, stay awesome. As always, peace out.